Hey, 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 John Hardison here with you. We're going to look at making a Google Drive slideshow much more attractive and possibly interactive by adding hyperlinks, images, videos, and drawings from Google Drive. So let's get started with a very easy one. However, you've probably seen a slideshow before where somebody has dropped in the entire website address and it just takes up the entire slideshow or it just looks unattractive and also is not very user friendly. So let's go to a website and practice the right way. Of course I would highlight this website if this is a website I want to use. Let's pretend that Ralph Waldo Emerson is the subject matter here and I want them to go to biography.com and read about him. So I can right click after I have highlighted and then click copy or I can simply highlight and click control C on my laptop. So go back to my Google Slideshow and I can take any word I want whatsoever. I'll just take this word and I'm going to highlight it, right click on it. I can go to link here or I can directly go to link up there. But there's link. I right click and paste in or hit control V on the PC. There I go. Click apply and my hyperlink is added. Much more attractive, much more user friendly. So I click there. There's my link and then now I can move on. Very, very simple stuff. Now let's go insert an image from the internet. Now obviously people all the time are perusing the internet for images. So let's pretend that I'm looking for quotations by Ralph Waldo Emerson and I happen to find one that I like. Let's choose this one. Here it is. He says the ancestor of every action is a thought. And let's go to view image. Once I go to view image, I'll click here, highlight it, I can either control C or I can right click and copy. Now I'll go back to my Google Slides. I have copied that address and now I need to insert it. I do that by going to insert an image. And since I have the direct URL, I can go right here. And then I will right click and paste in. There's the image. And I've now inserted it on my slide. So there we go. Now, of course, the cool thing about Google Slides is you can insert the image straight from Google, Google Drive by going to Insert Image, and you can go to Search right here. So I could type in Ralph Waldo Emerson quotations. And let's just pick one. Don't know what this one is, but we'll click on it. And there it is. I can resize it, I can move it around, I can do whatever I need to do. And there it is directly from Google Drive. Please notice that if I go back to insert and go to image, I have a lot of other options. I can upload from my computer, I can take a snapshot which we're about to look at, I can go to my albums and my Google Drive, and of course I can add them directly from all those places. Now, let's go to insert an image from the webcam. So I'm going to go insert image and I'm going to take a snapshot. So here we go. I'm going to click allow right here. There we go. So I'm going to get everything situated. I'm going to take a snapshot. One, two, three, what's up? And if I'm happy with that, I highlight it and click select. Here it comes in. And as soon as it comes in, I'm just going to drag it and shape it, and move it to where it needs to go. And there we are. And I'll just reposition it to move it out of the way. Now let's be creative here. Let's think about something. If you want students to take a picture of maybe their teens acting something out, posing for a statue or posing for a symbolic statue or some kind of symbolic representation that shows that they know what they are talking about for the assignment you have given them, then obviously you could just take a snapshot right from the computer. However, you also could take pictures of artifacts or evidence of work. For example, let's say that I wrote a very challenging math problem on my desktop here or on my dry erase table. I could actually take my webcam by going to insert an image, take a snapshot, and just watch what I'll do here. Very simple. 
as you can see, I just go right there and maybe take an image of that and I go to take the picture. So I have taken the picture and then I like that. It's the challenging math problem. I'm going to add that and when it comes in I can resize it and I could change it around a bit if I want to. So pretend that's something you're doing in a class. Take a picture of that. Have the students share it on a slideshow and then put it right there. And don't forget if you gave the students access to this slideshow we're creating right here, you could give them rights by adding them with rights to comment. You could give them rights to actually comment out to the side and they could comment on each person's slide and different assignments. So guys, you could really make this interactive, but we'll look at that more later in another video. So just be creative there and think about how you can insert that image. And of course, a uh, picture of yourself or picture of a team or picture of evidence of your work. Now let's go to inserting a video. So we're going to insert a video by going to insert and video and we're going to go straight from searching within Google Drive. So I'm going to search for a movie of mine that I love, Castaway movie trailer. I search for it, there it is, click on it, I select and that video pops up. Now if I double click on it, right here it will play, or I can go to present and I can play it from right here. Now there are other ways to insert videos as you well know, but I'm going to go directly to YouTube and let's pretend this video about, or about Ralph Waldo Emerson is one I want to use. So I want to go here, I'm going to click share, and I'm going to highlight the link it gives me, and then I just go back to my Google Slideshow. I go to insert video and then I know the URL so I'll go to buy URL I right click and I paste click select and here we go I can move that video around let's just do one more thing here if I go back to that same video let's pretend that for whatever reason I want to start it right here at 226 I don't want them to see the first two minutes and 26 seconds so I'm going to go to share I'm going to click where it says start at 226. Notice my URL changes here. Now I'm going to highlight that. Control C or right click and copy. Now I'll go back to my slideshow. Insert video by URL since I know the address. And I control V or right click and paste and insert that. Now this particular video is the same as the one before, except it will start at 2 minutes and 26 seconds. So just a few ways that you can add videos from the internet, and again, it's very, very simple. You can go directly to Google Drive in your slideshow, click on insert and video, and then search from right there in that window. Now let's go to insert a video from Google Drive. Now let's get a little creative with this one. I'm going to ask you to be patient one second as I try to connect my phone. And there is my phone. Now let me go to my Google Drive. And from there, I'm going to go to a specific folder titled Google Slides Video Tutorial. And from here, I'm going to click on the plus sign and I want to add a video or upload a video from my photos and videos on my phone. I'm going to camera roll. Let's click this third one here, or the second video from the left, one I did yesterday. I click on it, there's a blue check, I upload. It's very fast here at school, so the video has already uploaded. And that is it. So I'll close my phone now, and I will go insert a video now from my Google Drive. So I'm going to insert video, and this is my drive. If you land on this screen first, all you got to do is go here to Google Drive. You can see this is a video I just uploaded within the last minute. I click here and I select. Now the only thing I want to tell you is there is no preview right now. There is no picture here because I just uploaded it about a minute or two ago. And it will take usually five to ten minutes just to process on Google Drive. But if I go back and check here in just a few minutes, when I go look at that video, it will show a preview. 
And in case you're wondering, we can also go look at some other videos that I have already loaded in the past. For example, let's see here. We did one where Ms. Comiskey came in to speak to our students and watch if I select that. That was done a while ago and you see how there's a preview for it because the video has already processed and was uploaded a while ago. Now let's be creative here and let's think about how allowing students to use their smartphones in class and to quickly record a video of them talking about the assignment or proving that they do understand what is going on with the assignment you have given them. Think about how powerful that could be if they record that and then upload it to their Google Drive and then share it with you in a number of ways. One good way could be for you to share this slideshow or a slideshow like this with the entire class giving each student his or her own slide and then those students could go to those assigned slides and insert those videos that would show you mastery of the standards or whatever you have assigned. So just think creatively how you could use that and I'm sure you'll be rocking the class when you do. Now the last one we want to look at is insert a drawing. For that we got to get a little more creative. So I'm going to my Google Drive. I'm within the folder I want to work from. I'm going to new, more, Google Drawings. Now Google Drawings obviously lets you draw you can doodle, you can scratch out some things, you can draw shapes and figures. You can get pretty creative with it. Now I'm going to go to insert an image and just for the heck of it I'm going to take a snapshot. Here we go. Click allow and then close. Hey what's up? So one, two, three, yeah. And there's my picture and let's let it load and then we'll draw on it so here we go, just playing around here, I want to go grab the scribble tool and I may draw, add some hair, I'll go right here, just as an example, there we go, just whatever I need to do, and give myself a little handlebar mustache, and you get the idea, remember this is just a test. I can draw whatever I need to draw. Now the only thing you need to remember is once you have done and completed this Google drawing, you need to go to File, Publish to the Web, click Link, and then click Publish. Say OK. You do want to publish this. Grab this link it gives you by right clicking and copying or Control C. And then you are done with the Google drawing. So what I'll do now is I'll go to insert image and I don't need to go to Google Drive now because I just copied the URL to that Google drawing. So I click on by URL, I right click and paste in the address from that drawing that I just created. There it is and I click select. There we go. Just downsize that, fit that wherever I need to go. So think again creatively how this could be used. And of course I'll get more into this with some other videos I'm going to share, but please remember that if you were to take this video, I'm sorry, this slideshow, and click on Get Shareable Link, you could choose the Anyone at Holco Can Comment link and copy that. And if you share this link somehow, maybe via Canvas or by shortening it and putting it up on the projector screen, you could allow students to go through and comment on each individual slide. If you wanted to give them rights to edit this document, they could go create their own slides and then the entire class could be on that entire slideshow, editing it, commenting, interacting, of course, while you look at what they're doing to make sure there is mastery of knowledge being shown. Now, if you're more interested in what I just said about sharing an editable slideshow, then please look at some videos that are coming your way very, very soon. All right, I hope all this has been helpful. Thanks.